I've spent fucking days and hours and months and years waiting for the moment. The moment where I decide to change everything. The moment where I hit rock bottom, where I get rejected and it hurts really bad and I make a very, very significant change and that change sticks forever. But as you could probably tell by the title or the thumbnail, there is no moment. There is no moment in your life where everything will change forever. You cannot just keep waiting for this thing to come around. Your mind, if, you, if you're thinking about this moment, it means you're conscious of the fact that you want to change and your body will not let you, your mind will not let you get to that low point. Enough for you to be like, oh, I'm going to change forever. No, it's just not how it works. And even if it did, thinking about the moment is, gonna, is not going to create the moment, bro. It's not going to create the moment and you need to stop fantasizing about it. If you want to truly improve your life, you need to picture it vividly of what you want. You need to picture it vividly of what you want, why you want it. Be introspective about why you want something before going for it. Like Because we'd all watch these self-improvement videos of, you know, meditation's good for you. Blah, blah, blah. If you don't have a good reason to, that's contextualized for your life then what's the point in doing it? Just hearing about this benefit of increased focus and not being introspective of, why do I want increased focus? Why do I want to be more calm on a day-to-day -day basis? You've got to be, if you want to stick to something, if you want to stick to a better lifestyle, to changing your life, you've got to have a really good reason to do it. Otherwise, what's the fucking point? Everyone relies on willpower for this shit. No, I don't think they do. I, I think a lot of hype, a lot of, successful people today were hyper motivated they didn't have abnormal levels of willpower they were hyper motivated and that is the reason why they are there today and they spent the time looking inwards to find that motivation that is the main thing man that is the main thing i got wrong over these years is i would look for this moment i'd look for this moment where i'm going to become so motivated for the rest of my life, that I'll never have to worry about trying ever again. But that's not true. You need to create the motivation. You need to, it's ironic, you need to use the willpower to create the motivation. And what I mean by that is if you're in a slump, if you're in a rut, you've got to be introspective of why you want to change, why changing is going to be better for your life, why life is become, going to become much better. And then, well, as you change... I kind of lost where I was there, but what I'm saying is, and I've got an itchy nose. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, bro. As as you change, yeah, your life's gonna get better because of that. You're introspective about it, and you're gonna be able to remain consistent. That is the key because the amount of times I've tried and I haven't been consistent is just off the charts. I I have lost count. No, I'm good. Yeah. So I just <laughs> dad didn't realize I was recording, bro. Yeah, so. Bro, if you want consistent change, I can't believe we just had an itchy nose and a dad interruption. That is pretty embarrassing, bro. If you want, if you want consistent change, if you want perseverance for your goals, you need the motivation to do so. You cannot rely on this one moment to change everything for you and make everything easy. You need to almost create that mot motivation yourself by using willpower. By going deeper into why you want things. Why is the... W-H-Y question mark. That is the most powerful phrase in the world. Use it to your advantage. Or fall behind, brother. Have a good rest of your evening. I don't know what I'm talking about this, bro. I'm just going to fucking end this.